Well, we'd be glad to share some of that with them, wouldn't I we? I know, and he's just missed us completely. We're on the very dry side of that storm, so. Split it 50-50. Would yeah. that be a fair deal? <laughs> we wish, that's for sure. It has been another hot day across central Texas and warm this evening. Live look at our 360 tower camera. UT tower there on the right-hand side of your screen lit up pretty this evening. And those lights from the Memorial Stadium. Right now, we have temperatures right around 90 degrees. Early tomorrow morning, could see some cloud cover moving in, 75. And by noon, temperatures are going to warm pretty quickly, 94 degrees. And that's as a cold front that's going to be rolling in. So we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up in just a minute. But first, we have a red flag warning to tell you about. The low humidity, gusty winds expected tomorrow as that front moves through. We're going to see high fire danger. It's actually been creeping up this entire weekend. So any fire that starts is going to be able to spread very quickly. And you all know how dry our conditions are outside. So just take extra precautions if you're going to be doing anything, including smoking. That, that could spark a wildfire. It could be a dangerous situation tomorrow. Now, we are on the backside of Tropical Storm Lee, so we have that northeasterly flow that's continuing, and that's why we're seeing the drier conditions. Our winds are coming from land and not from the Gulf. No moisture here in central Texas, very dry. But look at this out over the panhandle. That's our cold front that we're tracking for tomorrow, sparking some shower activity there. Unfortunately, as it moves into central Texas, not great rain chances for us here locally. Let's take a little bit closer look at Lee, though. We have tropical storm still with 50 mile an hour winds, and this thing is not moving very quickly at all. It's only moving to the north northwest at two miles an hour. So through the day tomorrow, it's slowly going to work its way inland in Louisiana, and then by Monday, still impacting portions of the Gulf, not becoming a tr uh, area of low pressure until late Monday and then Tuesday as it moves out over the southeast U.S. So a lot of rain can still fall over portions of Louisiana to Florida, even Houston. Now getting a little bit of that wet weather, it's just not going to make it here to central Texas. So let's go hour by hour through a forecast and talk about what is going to impact us. Tonight, clear skies. Early tomorrow, we'll see a few clouds developing here and there. Overall, though, mostly clear conditions. And our front is going to be just to our north, affecting the Dallas region early in the day. By the evening, however, it's going to move through central Texas, kicking up those winds. It's going to be gusty through the day tomorrow. And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to stay dry. We need some of that rain, but tomorrow's just not going to be the day to get good chances of it. Behind this front, though, the good news with it is early Monday morning, our temperatures are going to be cooler, closer to normal for this time of year, and that's really good news. We're actually going to see overnight temperatures in the 60s by the middle of the week, afternoon highs in the low 90s. Right now, 90 degrees, clear skies at Camp Mabry, 87 out of ABIA. Winds, well, they're light for the time being, still out of that northerly flow. Tomorrow again, they're going to pick up and be very breezy. To our north, temperatures in the upper 80s in places like Georgetown, Rockdale, burn at 87 degrees there. Still 90, though, in Bastrop and in Blanco this evening. Tonight, we'll see those temperatures fall into the low 70s, especially in the rural areas. Here in Austin, however, I think we're going to stay in the mid-70s. Tomorrow, temperatures to our north are going to be a little bit cooler as that front moves in faster. So in about 96 in Burnett, 97 the high in Georgetown, our southeastern counties are going to be the warmest, right around 100 degrees. In Austin tonight, 75 degrees. Tomorrow, 100. Winds could gust up to 25 miles an hour. And here's that seven-day forecast. Check out our temperatures starting Tuesday morning through the afternoon. We'll tap out right around normal in the low 90s.